Hi everyone. Second thing we want to talk about is fertility. This gap, this isthmosil, can also cause a woman difficult to get pregnant. Let's say I have 100 women, 50-50 from each group, both want to plan pregnancy from today. Both of them is second, got one baby already. One group, the first baby, they give birth natural. One more group, they give birth by caesarean. We always know that the number of women who cannot get pregnant is higher in the caesar group. And even if they can get pregnant, the caesar group always get pregnant slower. So we know that caesar affects fertility. One of the reasons is due to the ismosil. Ismosil causes fertility problems just like other conditions like endometriosis as well as uh, hydrocelphings. Can you imagine you have an ismosil at that part, at the entrance of the uterus, at the lower part of the uterus, that is the place where all the sperm will go through, right? And if the ismosil is toxic, it's just going to kill all this sperm. It is actually because fluid can collect in this ismosil. That is why you get this spotting spotting every month. The fluid can collect in this ismosil. And the fluid that is collected in the ismosil is very toxic. It's all period blood. And you have all this sperm going through this toxic material. It's like throwing the sperm in a dirty drain, you know? is caesar scar pregnancy i will show you some picture of white caesar scar pregnancy let's go back again this is normal uterus this is where the scar is supposed to be this is a healthy uterus without any problem this is the gap that you have and in caesar scar pregnancy this is what you see this gap has a baby inside and i tell you it's very sad if you have this pregnancy this pregnancy because you have to choose between the life of the mother and the baby. Only one can live, not both. So, answer is very obvious. We usually sacrifice the baby, we keep the mother. So, it's very sad. And the best thing to do is to sacrifice this pregnancy. We have to remove this pregnancy and you try again another time. Because if the scar rupture, because there is a gap, you see your scar have a gap. So when your scar have a gap, this outer layer is so thin, it cannot hold on to a pregnancy that keeps growing and growing and growing and growing. And that is why the scar will rupture. And if the scar rupture, the baby will die. Because the entire thing is opened up already, the baby will be exposed inside the tummy together with your bowel and everything. And then you will bleed like crazy. So the only thing the doctor can do is remove the uterus. So many years back, I had one, I removed the uterus with the baby. No more uterus, no more baby because detected late. Why do we see more caesar scar pregnancy today? Why do we see more placenta accreta, increta, percreta today? Because there's more and more caesar. 20 years ago, in Malaysia, only 10 to 15 percent of births are cesarean. So, 80 to 90, 85 to 90 percent of all births are natural birth. So, only 10 to 15 percent is cesarean. But today, 20 to 25 percent of births became cesarean already. So, this complication is worldwide. We know that all these things is due to the gap. And for all the old videos that you want to refer back, please go back to my YouTube channel, Dr. Tan City Clinic. So please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.